I've been doing a lot of makeovers lately. Really just cheap DIYs from the dollar store or thrift store most of the time. The employees are starting to recognize me at the dollar store. Sometimes they even try to start a conversation. So today I've decided to just stay home, away from everyone. I didn't feel like going anywhere or seeing anybody. So instead I just ordered some stuff online from Shein, which is basically this website where you can buy super cheap clothes. Mostly clothes. Trendy clothes. I'm not painting on clothes today though. Shein does have some other random cheap junk, some of which I picked out to customize or paint on in some way, because that's what I do. I take junk and turn it into other junk that I paint on. The first thing I picked out is this guy sitting on a stool. I picked him up because I liked the way he looked. He looks very... Uh, I don't know. Geometric? I like that. I also like that he's wooden. Makes it easier to paint on. You can redirect his face to look away, but other than that, he's not very poseable. Uh-uh. This is cool. It's one of these things. I didn't even know that. He's like falling off his stool. There's a button on the bottom, and you just kind of press it, and he falls apart. All it takes is one little push to make him snap. I started off by gessoing the little guy to prime the surface. He's really tiny, but he also has a million little tiny crevices. Just trying to cover up as much as I can. I'm kinda going for a circus theme with this makeover. Sorta. I'm planning on turning this guy into a mime. If you don't know what a mime is, it's one of these guys. They don't talk. They just kinda use their hands and body to pretend they're doing things that they're not actually doing. I don't want him to just be black and white. I like adding a bit of color, so I'm painting the hat a dark navy blue. Although, to be honest, it pretty much just looks like black on camera. I thought pink would help brighten things up, so I'm adding pops of pink to the mime, starting off with a pink ribbon around his top hat, and some pink poofy sleeves. I think that's a nice touch. He doesn't have hands, at least not entirely. <laughs> They're just little balls, but he still wears black gloves to go with the whole mime aesthetic. He's also sporting some navy blue booty shorts. An interesting choice in attire, to say the least. It's not your traditional striped black and white mime outfit with, like, the beret and stuff. I wanted to add some individuality to this mime. He's breaking boundaries. One booty short at a time. So, his booty shorts are not just booty shorts. They're kinda like overall booty shorts, layered on top of a nice button-down shirt. Keeping it classy. Always. Business on top, party on the bottom. That's the mime way of life. I didn't want his legs to blend in too much with his shorts, so I added some color to him. He has like this little stand that he's sitting on top of. I thought about just painting it a solid black color and whatnot, but ultimately I decided to go for a more circusy vibe. Like I said, this video is supposed to be loosely circus themed, so I felt like that little touch on the stand made it a bit more obvious that this mime works at a circus. My mime is missing his hands, so he really tries to make up for that with his face. He's looking a little scary. Slightly creepy. That's where the creepy part of creepy cute comes in. He wears a bit of makeup. It might look like his makeup smudged a bit, which is okay. It did. He's been crying a lot. He's sad. A sad, sad mime. He doesn't want to talk about it. The next thing I picked up was this pink rubber duck. He comes with some accessories. A giant gold chain around his neck. A hardcore motorcycle helmet with a little helicopter thing on top. Whee! and wouldn't want his eyes to betray any sign of innocence. So he's also adorned with some sunglasses. Whee! He's an edgy pink helicopter duck. Wow. On the back of his sunglasses, there's a little sticky thing so that it could just stick onto his face. It's not quite doing its job though. He's already reached peak evil. Not much left to improve on, but I'm going to try. I love his accessories. I'm setting them aside, but I'm definitely going to keep them with the other doll accessories and things I've collected over time. All right, now he's looking pretty bare. I'm starting off with wiping his face off with some acetone. I'm leaving his duck beak untouched. That can stay. I'm not completely transforming him. He's still going to be a duck, but he's going to have a different vibe to him. Keeping with the whole circus theme, I've decided to turn this duck into a clown. Clowns are pretty scary. So I figured that's the one thing that can make this duck a tad bit more evil than his motorcycle wearing gold chain rocking days. I'm sticking to pretty much the same color scheme as the mime. I wanted them to go together. They're in the same sad family. Part of the same sad, 
Sad circus. I went in with acetone on a q-tip to do some cleaning up. I do want the pink on the duck to still kinda shine through. I'm not trying to completely erase his identity, just trying to enhance his features. Clowns have this little neck thing. I don't know. A little collar thing. That's what this pink mess is supposed to be. I added some pom-poms to it. Felt cute at the time. In fact, I liked them so much, I added some giant pom-poms to his outfit. Obviously, at this point, I'm really feeling the pom-pom vibe. There is a giant hole under my clown duck. I think it might be so you can squeeze it, or perhaps it helps rubber ducks float in the water somehow. Not entirely sure about the function, but yeah. We can all move on. Needless to say, he won't be going for any more swim lessons. He's more meant for decor now. He's a land duck. A sitting duck. Okay, the duck looks like a clown, right? Kind of. Uh-uh. Except I felt there was still a key component missing. Crazy poofy hair. That's what this needs. So of course I sculpted some out of epoxy. A lot of clowns have this hairstyle where there's like these two crazy curly poofs on either side of their head. And the center is just bald. That's part of what makes clowns so creepy. I'm sorry if that's offensive to any clowns out there. I don't have any problems with you or your hair choices. In fact, I like your haircut. Maybe I'll try it out myself. And the bald spot was just looking too bald, so I added a little party hat there. There. Hats fix everything. No one will ever know. Uh-uh. And then I added the signature big red clown nose. I'm also going in with red for the hair. He's a redhead. Clowns are usually redheads or have rainbow hair. For the dark side, we're going with a redhead clown. I kept the party hat pretty simple. I feel like he already has a lot going on. Now I'm focusing on his face. He's got a big smile. But don't let that fool you. He's actually very, very sad. Just like the mime. Kind of a theme here. Life's a sad circus. The clown's out there putting on a show, trying to make people laugh. But on the inside, we all know he's suffering. I absolutely love how this clown duck turned out. Honestly wanna makes me make over even more rubber ducks. Honestly makes me wanna- Honestly makes me- There's too many M's. Honestly makes me wanna make over even more rubber ducks. So if you liked this duck, then make sure you let me know by subscribing. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You can if you want to. Do it! The last thing I ordered was this cursed thing. It's a hand. A little stiff, but I bet you could put some WD-40 in it to make it less stiff. It's very poseable, so that's nice. Even the wrist moves. I'm painting it green since I'm planning on making it the Tutu Witch's hand. I am going for a circus theme with today's makeover. So what exactly does the Tutu Witch have to do with the circus? Absolutely nothing. But she showed up anyway to curse everyone with her farts. Woo! I went in with a tiny detail brush to get in between the fingers. Now this looks very underwhelming. It's just all green. To make it more evident that it's the Tutu Witch's hand, I added some more defining features. To start off with, I added like warts or boils out of epoxy. I also added a few touches of fur because the Tutu Witch has an abundance of hair. She's very hairy. She seems like the kind of person who would have hairy knuckles. I went with white fur because her wig is white. Just wanted everything to match. And since the Tutu Witch is the fairy godmother of the dark side, I thought she should be holding her wand. For that, I just took a little wood skewer and painted it black. I'm letting that dry for a bit, and then I'll come back to it. So back to her hand warts. I painted them a very pale green. I dabbed some color onto the hand to add some texture and to make the hand look older. The hand was looking too clean, so I felt it needed something. I don't know if it did much of anything though, so I also went in with a pukey yellow green. I guess I thought pukey yellow green was the way to go, so I added that same color to her warts as well. At some point I realized, that's a blindingly ugly color. So I went back over it to tone everything down a notch. The tutu witch wanted a manicure, so I picked up some fake nails from the dollar store. Honestly, a lot more than I need. They're the tutu witch's nails. She's never heard of grooming, so I wanted her nails to be kinda wonky looking and chipped and stuff. I hot glued them on one by one. Things are already looking a lot better. But she still needs some nail polish, of course. Why not? I don't have any nail polish on hand, so I'm just painting the Tutu Witch's nails with black acrylic paint. The knuckle hairs are a little overgrown, <laughs> so I've trimmed them down to something more manageable. And I topped everything off with a star. I love how the Tutu Witch's hand turned out. This one's by far my favorite. I think it captures her vibe pretty well. Old, disgusting, and hairy. What's not to love? I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> I'm off to join the sad circus. Boo-hoo. 
If you want to save me from this terrible fate, please click on the top right or bottom left.